Hi everyone, this is Jordan from the Balan Brands team and I'm going to show you how to do another cool little trick inside SEMrush to get the errors from IDX to stop showing up. So a couple weeks ago I showed you how to remove the IDX parameter from your SEMrush report. If that's still not working, there's another thing that you can do. So I'm going to show you how to do that today. So I'm inside the SEMrush platform right now and I'm looking at the dashboard for my project. So I just go into site audit to get the site audit started. And this is where you run into all of those issues. So sometimes when people and clients or you know, even us for, for different clients are running reports, we can see a ton of errors that pop up just because we use the IDX platform. For whatever reason, SEMrush does not register it properly and it starts to count it as duplicate pages or duplicate content. And some clients have had thousands of duplicate pages that are really hurting their site score because SEMrush isn't reading it properly. So what I showed you a couple weeks ago was when you run the campaign, you want to go down to remove parameters and actually type in IDX as a parameter that you want removed from this site audit. But there's another thing that you can do if that doesn't work. What you can do, and this is again, we figured this out the hard way by working with SEMrush on this because this is something that they admit is not working properly with their system. Um, if that doesn't work, what you can do is you can go into the user agent. So this is how they crawl your website. Go into the user agent. And you actually want to change that from SEMrush to Googlebot. So if you go in using the Googlebot, usually from, from most of the cases that I've used it, the problem will go away if it doesn't go away from the IDX parameter. Um, so what you're going to do is save it and then you're going to rerun the campaign and you should see those duplicate content, duplicate page issues go away. If you don't, then it could be a, a number of other different issues that are that are causing the problem. So, um, you know, it's hard to make a video that could solve every single problem, but this is how we solve probably 90% of the duplicate content, duplicate page issues um, that come up in SEM Rush when we have an IDX client. So if you have any questions, feel free to comment below or shoot me an email, and I'm happy to help in any way that I can. Thanks for watching.